Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products and Focus. So this week brings us the long-awaited FOMC on Wednesday, uh, where we're going to get an idea if the uh, Fed is going to raise rates or not. And it's about an 80-85% chance that priced into the markets currently looking at the bond markets. And certainly Friday brought with it some more neg negativity into the, uh, into the equity markets. We've seen a fairly staunch sell-off across most equity markets um, more so prevalent on the UK market than anywhere else out of the majors because of its big exposure to uh, commodity markets and it's looking particularly ugly this morning with uh, crude oil briefly trading below $34, uh, sorry, below 35 down at 34.90 to start off the session. It's since had a little short-term bounce but you can see, see another bearish engulfing pattern uh, on Friday. Uh, we've had a modest bounce this morning towards potential Broken support now expected to act as potential resistance at 17.361. We're trading below both moving averages. The other technicals are relatively neutral, but the MACD here is just crossing the zero line, which is adding to the technical and negative picture. And the next potential support at 17,034 on the US 30. Um, on the weekend, we also had some Chinese data on Saturday that actually came out marginally better than expected. Um, but it's not had a massive impact because people are just so focused now on that FOMC session on Wednesday. So let's have a look at the UK 100 right now. And as you can see, it's looking particularly ugly at the moment. Uh, a proper breakout there on late on Friday, uh, late in the session. Uh, very negative day, down 2.44%. As I said, it's had a bit of a, a, a modest bounce this morning, but the next potential support is all the way down at 5,770. We're firmly below the moving averages. All the other technicals are extending into uh, oversold territory. They actually have the RSIs in the oversold territory right now, but the signal to uh, reverse has not yet been given. It's got a cross back through that 70% level, which hasn't uh, that 30% level, which hasn't happened yet. But you can see we're, we're quite close to plumbing the depths that we had there at the end of August. This is the Chinese slowdown that was impacting the equity markets. And just to show you where we are uh, in relation to uh, previous highs that the, uh, the UK market has, has reached, um, you can see from here that if we break below 5770, uh, you are probably looking at uh, the next potential support being 50 to 20 and then followed after that by, by 47.26. So looking very top heavy at the moment, the UK market. And as long as the commodity markets remain depressed, uh, it's gonna feel extremely pressured. So then jumping on to Japan 225, uh, another uh, kind of bearish engulfing pattern there on Friday, a bounce off potential support at 18,648. We are now trading below both moving averages with the other technicals still uh, showing a little bit of room for further downside potentially. So then moving on to dollar yen, and dollar yen is trading in some quite tight, narrow ranges at the moment, uh, between 120 spot 55 and 121 spot 87. It's been very, I find it very, very tough to break out of this area uh, as soon as the yen started to get a little bit more buying interest as uncertainty jumped into the markets, even though we've got obviously the FOMC uh, next week, uh, sorry, on Wednesday, uh, people are still buying the yen as a safe haven asset in the face of all this uncertainty. So let's have a look at West Texas crude then. As you can see, we just uh, briefly broke below 35.30. Uh, that broken support now is expected to act as potential resistance. The next potential support is down at 27.28. Now, I'm just gonna go into my weekly chart and then extend this out. We've actually got to go quite far to see it. We're looking at the tip here from December 2008. That is the next, no, we're actually trading below that just now. Sorry, that's, we're below that, those lows. I have to go into my monthly chart now. To, uh, to get some, some data. So uh, if I even just try and draw, draw that on this a little bit better, we're actually looking at 26 uh, 93 So let's just say $27 just to keep it nice, nice and easy. Uh, that's where the next potential support level is. So um, a lot a lot further that West Texas could, could go if we see an acceleration. And uh, I think with FOMC coming out, we'll be looking at the initial market reactions when that happens. So that's where we are with West Texas crude. Let's have a look at gold. Gold a bit of a tough one to get your head around right, right, right now. It seems to be oscillating again around uh, $1,072, which is hugging that 21 period SMA. Other technicals are relatively neutral. Yeah, it tries to go up, it gets pushed back down. It tries to go down, it gets pushed back up. It just seems to want to settle at this area. Who am I to argue? So let's have a look at Euro dollar and GBP USD. So Euro dollar, um, again, quite close to that 55 period SMA. <clears throat> Longer term potential resistance, one spot 
let's just say one spot 11. Uh, obviously the FOMC, if that comes out for the interest rate hike, all depends on the rhetoric that gets used around that as well. We could see a move back down towards one spot 0819. But remember about 80% of this, 85% of this is already priced in. If they don't raise rates, watch your dollar. It should be kind of interesting. And let's finish up with GBP USD. I started to gain a little bit of uh, momentum behind it, managing to break up higher, but capped again that 55 period SMA. It's had a bit of profit taken this morning. The question is, can we get through this sloping support line and break this downtrend channel that might be in place right now to then be able to rechallenge one spot 54 at 97 or one spot 55? That is the question. So I can look data wise, not a huge amount out today. Tuesday, you've got uh, UK CPI, ZEW business report that's big for German clients and CPI in the US. And then obviously Wednesday's big day, you've got PMI from uh, Japan, Germany, Eurozone, unemployment data from the UK, uh, CPI again from the Eurozone, uh, housing starts from US industrial production, uh, crude oil inventories, and then you've got the FOMC policy rate decision. That is gonna be a huge, massive deal. Make sure that you go to uh, support your live trigger events and sign up to our live webinar sure there's a, a lot of people who are interested to see how that one pans out well guys keep your eye on the chart forum make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next